challenges we faced in uh, vaccination in, in, in Tanzania primarily focused on the fact that there is a history of uh, vaccines being used for clinical trials. And unfortunately, some of these vaccines have had a bad outcome. So as a result, there was a lot of distrust against vaccines developed in Western countries. Plus the fact that the previous president of Tanzania was an anti-vaxxer um, and he felt that vaccines posed a threat, specifically the COVID-19 vaccine posed a threat to, on the population. He was convinced that it was a way to depopulate the nation and, and, uh, and therefore he was going to save his people by making sure that they don't get vaccinated. So this became a very big challenge for us. Um, however, that challenge um, changed when he contracted COVID allegedly and died from it. And the new president changed the narrative slowly but surely to convince the mass population that these vaccines were safe, effective, and, and uh, something that they needed to do if we're gonna fight against this combat against this epidemic uh, around the globe. And so slowly but surely, we're making headways. At present, only about 3% of Tanzania has been vaccinated, but hopefully in the coming year, we will get more and more people, especially the younger generation, willing to come forward and get vaccinated.